room. Or a few years older and white. <sighs> Kramer, what the hell are you doing here? I came here to see you. You, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got nothing to say to you. I'll do all the talking, man. Having a little trouble finding employment in the law enforcement field. Expect me to give a damn? I expect you to give me a recommendation. You know, there must be something wrong with the acoustics in here. I could have sworn I heard you ask me for a recommendation. Your hearing's 2020. Well, I hope yours is. Get the hell out of here. Wow, I really misread you. You must have thought I was some moron who forget you slept with his wife. No, I thought you'd put aside our differences and do what was right. What the hell would you know about doing what's right? You know, I'm a good cop, Abe, and you know it. I busted my butt on the job. I cracked cases that everybody else had given up on. You know, I think I spent more nights here than I did in my own house. My own bed. <laughs> I doubt that. You know what? You don't like me, and I get that. But this isn't about you and me or me and Lexi. This is about my work as a police officer. And you can't deny I upheld the law as well as any cop you ever had. You broke the law. Lexi has a restraining order against you, and that's real. I should have thrown your butt in jail. Yeah, but you didn't, because you know I'm not the only one responsible for what happened. Get the hell out of here. I'm asking you for a professional recommendation, Abe, an honest account of my work on the Salem PD, okay? Throw in a PS if it makes you feel any better. Don't trust this guy with your wife, but give me my due. If I gave you what you got coming, we'd both regret it. Hey, we were friends once, Abe. I looked up to you. I wanted to be like you, a man of integrity. There you go. Throwing around words like integrity, like it meant something to you. Right, it did to you, and it still does. Prove it, Abe. Do the right thing. Give me a recommendation. It's only fair. You want to talk about what's fair with me. But maybe I was a lousy friend, but I'm a good cop. You know, high scores on the shooting range. Memorizing the police handbook did not make you a good police officer. What matters? What's in here? And you got nothing. You're empty. You don't give a damn about anybody but yourself, not your fellow officers, That's not, not this true. Department. That's not you true. You slept with your superior's wife. And you didn't give a damn how it affected the people you work with that destroyed morale. It was a slap in the face of every no, officer. No, it was a force. slap in the face to you. That's why no, I No, no, you it. did it. You did it, pal. You blew up your own personal life. The problem with that, now the fallout is everywhere. Get the hell out of here. I got work to do. I told you to go. You know, I was hoping we could do this on the DL, but, uh... If you're gonna get in my face, I'm gonna have to get in yours. It's Commissioner Carver. I want some officers in. I got a call from the state's attorney. He had a few questions about how the department's being run. Specifically, the kind of job you're doing. Thought that might interest you. So the state prosecutor asked your opinion of my performance. Mm -hmm. Mine and a lot of others. I guess you blowing the E.J. Wells case sent up a few red flags. E.J. Wells is guilty, and I'm gonna prove it. Doesn't matter if Wells is a Boy Scout or the head of the Mafia, he made a mess. Now the state's attorney wants to clean it up. So I can help him, or I can help you. Go to hell. If I go down, you're going with me. 
You know, you're a bitter ex-police officer with an ax to grind. Nobody is going to listen to what you have to say. Mm, I think they will when I tell them that Commissioner Carver forced a bright young detective with an exemplary record out of the department for sleeping with his wife. So what do you say, Abe? You give me a good rack, I give you one. That's blackmail. Mm, I call it an even trade. You know, you're a lousy police officer and a lousy excuse for yeah, a human being. Yeah, I know. You made that pretty clear, but uh, let's not waste any more time. Why don't you just give me what I want and you get what you want? What I want? is to never see your face again. Offer's about to expire, Ed. <sighs> All right, okay. Uh, I'll have Roman write up a letter for you. Pick it up tomorrow. I'll mail it. Get the hell out of here. And don't come back.